Stockade has been around for a number of years. It comes off the back of the pass load industry, so the impulse tools here have got 30 years of uh, impulse technology behind it. It was designed specifically in New Zealand for the fencing market in New Zealand. We're really proud to the fact that our staples, our batten staples, are made in New Zealand in the Hawke's Bay, um, the highest galvanising, zinc aluminium galvanising in the market worldwide. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to show you the, the technique of putting a batten on a fence. Now, as far as battening goes, the technique is just as important as the material you're using. So um, going side to side with your staples, going leg to leg with your staples, so the staples are actually holding the wire in properly, is paramount to uh, the, the keeping the staples in the fence. Um, we all know that as a, as a fencing community, we go along and you can see battens moving on the fence. Um, this is a perfect tool for fixing that. Straighten your battens up, re-staple them, and it's going to last, uh, make your fence last 10 times longer. So we've got a batten square here, and there's also a height gauge. So we want our batten to be square to the wire and at height. Um, the, these guns here are made in Chicago uh, in, in the pass load factory, and um, they've got a, a battery and a gas canister in them. Each time you depress the nose, you get a shot of gas and you pull the trigger and it ignites that gas and drives the driver blade, drives the staple in. The nose piece, the nose piece is your wire guide, so you locate it onto the wire and staple on. Always use the top wire last, you take the square off. And that means you your wire is not going to be saddled um, when you end up finished your fence. So you can see you've gone side to side here. If you went all up the centre of the batten, you'd create a pivot point. Um, when sheep rubs on the fence, it will eventually start working on those staples and, and um, working the staples out. So we've gone side to side. It's like standing wide-legged in a wind. A lot better bracing, OK? So um, that's, that's our batten gun. The beauty of these tools here, there's no, no air hose to uh, drag along the ground, so health and safety factors, getting um, quad bites into gullies and things with a compressor on it is uh, a, really, a really bad feature nowadays with the Health and Safety Act. So these tools here are, are, are cordless, so there's no, there's no need to, to carry compressors and hoses everywhere. There's some safety features on it, so the, the battery has an on-off function. It won't fire in that off position. Um, it won't fire unless the nose is fully depressed, so it's got a, a switch unit inside here that won't fire as well as that's compressed. So as far as battening goes, um, really important that you know the quality of the tools that you're purchasing. So we have in New Zealand um, the, the best battening tool on the market. Um, it's made in-house, designed in-house and designed specifically for New Zealand's fencing industry. Um, plastics that are made in the tool here is uh, is the highest quality plastic you can get. You can pretty much drive over these, it's not going to break on you. Um, the, the, the backup service from Stockade is fantastic. As a, as a rep, um, I travel around the country and, and do end user calls and, and degrease tools and show people how to clean their tools. And so that side of our business is, is fantastic. It's something you, you don't get with uh, other companies. And um, uh, knowledge of the industry is really important as well, so I can explain to people the best way to put a batten on. Drying your timber is one of the biggest things to do to, um, to batten the fence, so if you, you put a wet batten on, as it dries out, it's shrinking. As that's shrinking, it's trying to eject the staple out. So having a dry piece of timber to start with is really, really important.